subscribe okay so i'm back to you with another vlog it is wednesday it's wednesday i'm getting ready for bed um i did my face routine as i showed y'all in the previous um clip so i'm getting on here now to open up this vlog um today was a pretty good day work was good today i made tacos well, i cooked tacos um yesterday and i had a little bit of ground beef left over so i finished making some tacos today didn't put that on camera or anything just some nachos um tacos or whatever and just getting ready for bed but y'all i'm talking to y'all at night um versus like open up the vlog in the morning because i know when i lay down i'm kind of tired now but when i wait when i lay down i'm not gonna be tired like i don't know i will i have been restless the last couple of nights and I just can't put my finger on why um I know they say if your mind has a lot on it before going to bed it's gonna cause you to be restless um I know my doctor told me like it's not good to just lay in the bed if you're not really going to sleep so he was like get up walk around read a book do something don't just lay there because um, that's gonna make you more tired when that's when you actually do go to sleep and you wake back up like you're gonna be exhausted and this morning like that's in my um last clip I was putting the um eye cream under my eye because i'm noticing like i'm getting bags like when i wake up in the morning i'm noticing bags and i'm like okay i just turned 30 
I know bad's gonna come, but I don't wanna look old, old before my time. So, um, I had got me some good molecules eye cream and start putting those under my eyes because it's like, like I know I be tired and I know I need to go to sleep, but my mind, like it's like my mind just be racing. Every time I lay down, my mind is racing. My mind is thinking about this. Oh, what did you do today? I even be thinking about, oh, um, what you did with the kids Medicaid card? When they got disappointment or just random stuff like, off the wall crazy stuff like oh you go to work tomorrow you got to do this oh you, you forgot to read that order article today at work or you forgot to put this in your notes it just be like my mind just racing my mind just racing i don't want him to put me on no sleep medicine or anything like that i don't want to be taking all that medicine like i don't want that i don't know i just like i'm gravitating towards like more natural remedies and doing things naturally so please drop some gems in the comments that's going to help me like sleep at night and i mean not like like when i'm sleeping i might wake up one or two times in the night but i'll go right back to sleep it's just like me getting to sleep be the hard part i don't know why i don't know why the last couple of nights it's like it was really really hard for me to go to sleep and i know i probably dealing with stress and different things like that the holidays coming up y'all know when the holidays come around you're thinking about okay you got to get the kids this you got to get the kids that just have so much going on so i don't know if that may be a, a cause and then the cause is affecting me not to sleep causing the bed but anyway we're gonna have to work on that and do something um, i know somebody was telling me like well what do you do during the day because what you do throughout your daily activities um affects how you you know rest at night and i'm like well i work from home you know i don't really do too much or whatever but anyways i let me know if this um when this vlog go out of course let me know if y'all like this quality better so what i noticed was in my like i went back to my very first vlog right and i liked it the quality of the video um when i uploaded so i'm like why is my quality like what am i doing and did i change something in my settings like am i doing something different why isn't the quality like how it was before so what i did was went back to my old video and i noticed um what I did was brought this lens off Amazon and I had the lens on this camera. I was on a Sony ZV-1F and when I took the lens off, because I'm like, let me take this lens off to see if I notice a difference. And when I took the lens off and I started recording without the lens that I brought on it, I noticed a big difference. But the reason that I brought the lens was because they were saying like on this particular camera, it seemed like they like it's close up on your face and the lens, of course, um makes it zoom out more so that's why i brought the lens but i'm like i think that lens is like a filter and i think it's like messing up the quality of my video i don't know i'm gonna test it whenever i um whenever i upload this video to see if that makes a difference because i kind of like right now by me looking at myself i kind of like this quality better anyway but yeah um just wanted to let y'all know that i'm opening up the vlog um not going to drag it, drag it, drag it out. No, I'm going to get this vlog out as soon as I can once it's over. Not too much tomorrow. It's Thursday. My daughter has a doctor's appointment Friday. I don't know if y'all told y'all, but um, honestly, when she went, last time she went to the doctor, she, the doctor was like, she, my honesty is 5'7 and she's 12. So the doctor was telling me like her fingertip, the fingertip is longer than her head to toe. And she wanted to do, I think, a, a X, was it an x-ray or a ct scan i gotta look back at the paperwork on friday to make sure she doesn't have um it's a i forgot the proper name for it i'll look it up and i'll let y'all know what's the proper name for it but she wanted to make sure something that affects like if she wanted to do track or play any type of major sports it she want to make sure like it doesn't affect her heart um she's like something about if she wants to like run track or something like that and being how she's so tall and skinny that it may affect her so we have to get those tests done friday just to make sure she doesn't have like any um anything that's going to stop her i don't know the proper name but once i get the proper name i'm gonna let y'all know the name for it and everything what it's called but i know god is a way maker and my baby's good she she don't have none of that like and it was like you, you don't notice it until they get like in their teenage years and my baby about to be 13 so that's when she was like okay we need to get these tests done just to make sure to rule it out basically that's what she want to do is just rule out that that's not what she got so we're gonna get that done friday i'm off work friday so i'm gonna take her to do that we got a hurricane that's supposed to be coming i will i think it's a tropical a tropical storm now but it's supposed to be a lot of rain tomorrow and a lot of rain friday so y'all just pray for us here um in south carolina if you're anywhere near the hurricane i pray for you as well um 
God already got you covered. So yeah, let me get ready to go to bed. Um, try to go to bed as I as I say. I'm about to journal before I go to bed. Hopefully that'll take some of the stress in my mind be clear free once I get everything written on paper. So I'm gonna journal before I go to bed. But I'll talk to y'all tomorrow sometime. I don't know if I'm gonna open up in the morning or if I'm awake. I don't know just yet, but just know y'all gonna talk to me tomorrow. So good night. morning y'all good morning so i took daisy out to use the bathroom it is thursday it is a rainy 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 thursday i'm on my 15 minute break um i get two 15 minute breaks and a 30 minute lunch so i'm on my break now um not really hungry um like i said last night when i was talking to y'all i just don't be having no energy like my energy levels do down so i got me like a little energy drink that i'm drinking now oh y'all when why is, why is the fly so bad like is it just here in south carolina but like this year for some reason like i've been killing flies i hate i hate flies and it seemed like this year for some reason it was the flies and the ants the ants just kept coming out of nowhere. I don't know where the ants come from. I don't know why they were so bad this year. But them and them flies. I can't stand it. I can't wait till it get cold. Honestly. I really can't wait till it get cold. Because this ain't it. I hate. I hate. Oh, I hate. I hate. I hate flies. I really do. I really, really do. But um. anyway. I'm working. Just waiting um, on my 15 minute break. Took Daisy out. For a little while then i got her um in the garage let her eat some food i put her back in her cage i try to take her out like on my every break i take her out and um we used to let daisy run around in this house but daisy's gotten to the point where she just be jumping on shit and doing the most so we i don't really have her out as i like as much anymore um just because she don't know how to listen like she i don't know i don't know um She's not fully poly trained yet, and so we don't really keep her out a lot. I do put her in the garage, let her run around out there. Um, as far as her, like, running around in the house, no. No. Because if y'all don't know, like, if y'all new to my channel, we got Daisy last year for Christmas, and we thought Daisy was going to be a toy poodle. You know, a little toy poodle, something you can hold in the palm of your hand in one hand. When we saw Daisy getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I was like, babe, I don't think this no damn toy poodle. We got a damn mud. <laughs> I was like, we got something else, man. This is not a toy poodle because Daisy kept growing and growing and growing. And I don't think she's going to get no bigger than what she is now. But we was not expecting her to get that big. And I don't think the kids were expecting her to get that big either. So now they don't really play with her. They don't take her out. They, you know, I guess because she's too big for them. Like, and I, I've never had like a dog of my own. This is my actual first time having a dog of my own. So this is my first time being a dog mom. I don't really know much. I'm learning as I go, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't think we expected her to be this big. Like, the guy we got her from, they went to Atlanta to get her. And the guy we got her from said she was a toy poodle. So that's what we was thinking, toy poodle. But no, she's mixed with a lot of other stuff. Because when we got her DNA, I was like, babe, look at this. She's mixed with a lot of other things. That's why she's bigger than an actual toy poodle. So I don't know. I don't know. We might have to sell a child. I don't know because she do be a lot. She do be a handful. But we're going to see how this go. We're going to see how this go. Oh, I did. I need. I do need to find the name um, of what they're trying to say my daughter has. Um, Her doctor's appointment is tomorrow. I think at like 1030. So I'm going to take her to her doctor's appointment tomorrow like 1030. Um... I kind of like me taking that filter, that little lens off my camera. I like the way I look on camera now. I don't know. It looks more natural looking. Like it looks more like a, I don't know, like a, a vlog more. Maybe that camera, maybe the filter thing was kind of like a, I don't know. It was filtering my camera. Like now I really can see like the big difference and I love it. I should have been took that off. Like why didn't I, hopefully I'm not as close up 
as before because it was like you know that's supposed to like help not be as close to the camera but i don't know it's I like this quality belt, so I'm gonna keep it like this. But anyway, let's go back to work. So I'm a little heavy today. But baby, I ain't care because it's Thursday. And I'm off tomorrow, so. I'm a hometown hero, niggas. Boys like Celo. These niggas do anything for some Celos. I work hard. Hit Mercedes, buy some free cars. Oh no, this nigga's worse off. Maybe my son said, reality is turned off. Who the fuck knows? I just make songs. Who am I to sound as how this shit goes? A sarcasm, by the way. You wanna be my hero? You won't even do the hell. This shit don't end up. Hey, so I am off work. I'm um, cooking dinner now. I had made some dip for tacos yesterday, and I still had some ground beef puff over. So I'm gonna just use that and um cook some chicken wings to go with like some little dip that I'm gonna make. And y'all, I want to show y'all these chicken wings. This one I was um testing, taste test. Look at my chicken, baby. I am the queen when it comes to cooking chicken. Okay, that's so good. Ooh, look at that skin. It is so good, y'all. It is so good. They cancel school tomorrow. School cancel for Haven and Honesty. And y'all know I have to take Honesty to that doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I'm going to see if my mama want to watch Haven while I take Honesty there. I really don't want to take Haven because it's going to be raining and I don't want to deal with her in not the rain. And this will be my first time going to um, this place. I think it's like in the hospital. And I don't know how she's going to act in there. And I don't know how long I'm she's going to be with getting this x-ray and stuff. So I'm going to just see if my mama want to watch Haven for the time being. So I'm finished. But that's pretty much it for today. We're cooking this chicken. Waiting on this chicken to finish. And, um... That's it. I'm not doing too much. It's still kind of raining. A little bit. Let me so good. Well, um, it's still raining. Not as bad as it was earlier, though. But it's still raining. I don't know why my focus is it's not focusing or setting like I wanted to. But, yeah, I'm just about to finish cooking this food, y'all. Um, so we can eat. And that's it. I'm going to try to stop saying y'all. I know this in my videos. I say y'all a lot. That's just the country in me. <laughs> South Carolina in me. Okay. Let me finish cooking. Hey, y'all. So, it's 4 in the morning. It is Friday. And I got woken up because... The TV went off. Um, Haven was already awake when her dad leave for work. Um, she kind of woke up a little bit. The TV went off. So I'm trying to plug the TV back on. Y'all, I don't know about y'all. I cannot sleep in a dark, dark room. Some people can. I can't. So as I'm trying to cut the TV on, it's not cutting on. And it was kind of dark in here. It, it was way back. It was way back back there. Yeah. So it's like we got a tornado watch right now. And it's raining and it's windy really heavy. The lights already was flickering. The woman with the way was flying there. Yeah. 
and I would, and I wish had a bad dream a wormy. She's telling y'all she had a bad dream about a worm. So yeah. Anyway, y'all. So. Yeah, well, because I just need to get my shirt. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we basically just up. I can't go back to sleep because it's raining so so hard, y'all. It's raining so so hard. So um, I can't go back to sleep because of the rain and the wind is cutting up out there. I'm telling Bay like, Bay, come back home because you know your life not worth going out there working. I'm pretty sure them people, your manager, um, your boss and stuff, he not out there, so I just want him to be safe. He, like, basically like a vendor, so he can kind of go back out and finish up tomorrow because I know the storm is supposed to pass by tomorrow. But, y'all, I am low-key scared. That rain is not letting up. Then, y'all know, today is honestly supposed to go get the x-ray done um, or whatever that she has to get done today at the doctor. And I'm just like... What the hell? What Mommy, I, huh? Mom, what huh? <laughs> I don't know, baby. So yeah, I'm just up but right now. Tired because I really didn't Mommy, go to sleep till after twelve. I see, baby. I see, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to bed till after twelve o'clock. I was going to be always sleep. So. I'm just up right now and can't sleep. I hope it don't be too bad. Like, I hope the damage isn't too bad. I hope so. I hope it's not bad, bad. Y'all look at my nails. I got one nail on. On my other hand, I think I'm missing two. <sighs> yeah. This time. I'm still so sleepy. I died. You, no. you should be. She been up, like, 2 o'clock. Girl, why is you up that late? I'm sleepy. You not sleepy? I'm sleepy. I think that's alright. I want to go back to sleep, but I can't because it's so noisy outside. I don't even know if y'all can hear it. Y'all can hear that? Yeah. Yes, you can. That's what's going on. I just pray the lights don't go off. I got to take my baby out. But I know she need to get this x-ray done. And I took off work today. Just so I could take her. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me figure something out. But, yeah, I just want to update y'all. It's like 4 in the morning. Well, no. It's like, well, yeah. I think it's still. Well, 537. I see that. The lights flicker. Girl, the lights flicker. Hopefully, the lights, if they do go off, if you don't daylight, I do got candles. It's crazy. Hopefully... I still able, you okay? Still able to take her today? I feel like I know it. Oh god, we just have to see. I feel like I know it. You glowing? Okay, y'all. Let me. <coughs> hey, then you all right? Let me try to figure some stuff out, and I'm gonna update y'all with this weather, how it's going and stuff. Okay, we gonna blow your nose, cause. Right now, I'm up. Uh, 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 Running on about what, 12 hours uh, about four uh, hours uh, sleep. Uh, I think I want to sleep at um 12. Like, after 12, matter of fact, cause when I look at my phone last, it was 12. So, we're going to see how this go. I'm going to update y'all. Call y'all back. Good morning, y'all. So, I'm back. It's still Friday. It is currently 9.51. My baby went back to sleep finally about 6 o'clock this morning, girl. Um, Bay came back home from work. He said the trees are down. Like, the trees are down all over in the road. 
some of the stores he do he um if y'all don't know what my husband does he's like a vendor where he deliver um the cakes called bon appetit he delivered them to all of the stores around here in the area and he said some of the stores didn't have no power um their system was down trees was in the road he couldn't get to some of the stores so the storm is supposed to be passed by later on today so what's, what he's going to do he came home and then he's going to go back out tomorrow because he's kind of like his own um like self-employed he can kind of go out whenever he want to go out and stuff so he came home um see what we want to eat and he wanted to go get us some shit filet honestly doctor called y'all know she had a doctor's appointment at 10 30 so they was like they operating on a two hour delay so the appointment now is pushed back to 12 30 so um i told them yes i'm still gonna bring her because um i don't really have that many time days off to take um to use so i'm gonna still push through and take my baby because i really want her to get this x-ray done and then like since they canceled school already i don't have to worry about her missing like a day of school because they, all the schools are out <clears throat> basically an e-learning day so i didn't have to worry about her like missing a day of school or, or counting against her for taking her out today so everything kind of worked out not saying it's good that the storm came but i don't have to worry about you know letting her use like days that she really don't have to use um or whatever so yeah, I'm just washing my face, um, getting ready to eat some breakfast when they come back. Haven in her bed, sleep. Y'all, I was thinking, and I was looking at some more YouTube YouTubers. Um, this is my first year on YouTube, and I want to do Vlogtober. I was looking at the different things I could do for Vlogtober, and I just feel like I don't do anything every day, as I was telling y'all before. But I saw some YouTubers they were like. They gained a lot of subscribers and they channel got monetized during like the month, like right now, between like the holiday month. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Like, I got some followers. Y'all come back and watch my videos. I do know I have y'all. So I'm gonna give my supporters um a video every day starting in October. Oh yeah, how do y'all feel about that? <laughs> how do y'all feel about that? Like, that's gonna take some consistency. Y'all know that, right? And consistency is my biggest downfall right now. So I feel like that's going to give me all the motivation I need. Oh, I hear the garage opening. Y'all can hear that? My garage be so damn loud. They just came back. Um, oh, I hate my nose ring do that. I watch on my last video how my nose ring hanging out. Um, not my one of my videos. I'm like, I hate that. Some people like when it be showing like that. I don't like that. I don't think I'm digging my nose. I'm pushing it back in. But anyway, my garage... Um, be so loud sometimes when I be here working and he open the garage. I be like, damn, can they hear that on my calls? <laughs> Cause it be so loud, girl. So they just came back with the food. So I'm about to um go downstairs so we can eat. Haven's still asleep. She's in her bed, so when she wakes up, she'll come downstairs. But yeah, I think I want to do Vlogtober where I vlog every day. Let me let him know I'm about to come downstairs. Where I where I vlog every day in October. Y'all think that's a, that's a good idea to get them followers. Tell them see the food here. So yeah, I was like, I'm definitely gonna do it, and I'm gonna do vlogmas too. Um, so I told my daughter. Um, y'all know my baby did my. Well, y'all probably don't know. Look at that. I, ooh. Um, but um, honestly, did my intro and my outro for my YouTube. So I told her about it, and she was like, Okay, mom, I'm gonna do your intro and outro for vlog vlog um told her i was like okay like okay girl get your coins because i told i was gonna pay her of course so <clears throat> i think i'm gonna definitely do that for october get my my subscribers get me monetized because my goal honestly y'all is to be monetized before the end of the year that's my goal so i'm gonna have to work towards that goal really really hard push 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 get these videos out promote and most importantly most importantly be consistent i'm gonna have to be consistent with these videos i'm gonna have to be consistent with picking up this camera i'm gonna have no matter if i don't want to do it no matter if i get discouraged no matter if i feel like the day the day i don't feel like i'm gonna have to edit record edit record or edit record i'm gonna be consistent with my videos so if you're new to my channel, make sure you stay tuned for the Vlogtober um, content that's soon to be coming. Let me go downstairs so I can eat, so I can get ready to take honesty to this appointment. And yeah, I'll be back. So we just left home. About to take honesty to the doctor. I seen a couple of trees down. 
Um, not too bad. The road's not too bad right now. We're 11 minutes away, so we'll get there pretty at a decent time. This is my first time going to this. Um, I think we gotta go to the hospital part, so I wanted to leave home a little earlier, just in case traffic was backed up or like a lot of stuff was in the road. But so far, it's not too much damage. So far, we still got um about 10 minutes to go. But so far it's not too much damage here of course i know it was a lot of damage other places so still want to make sure i um oh, hold that camera still want to make sure i send my prayers up for the people Ooh, this light out oh look at that car Wait go past this light then at the next one turn right this light out they bad like they don't know how to drive when the lights out This stoplight is out. Oh Lord. And it started, it just started back raining, y'all. Drizzling a little bit. It was At not raining when we left home. Use the right lane. That the light. I think that's right here. I think. Okay. Let me focus on this road. Because, yeah. And I'm gonna call y'all back when we get there. Just got here. It didn't take us too long to get here. Traffic wasn't too bad either for us to get here. So we a little early. I'd rather be early than late. Being late is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't know about nobody else, but being late is one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm trying to find something. I'm gone. I don't think I got nothing in here. I got one gone. Oh, I got two. Just enough. <laughs> Just enough. It's still kind of windy though. I don't know. All these parts you gonna pop beside me. I hate when people do that. I'm the only one part right here. You gonna pop beside me? I'm trying to vlog. All right, um, Prisma. I gonna pay me some money or something? Hit my car. Something hit my car, y'all. My legs looking a little bit. Don't mind if y'all see. Act like y'all don't see. You tell them about these? Mm hmm. What? Mm -hmm. So you, I'm just gonna show y'all her Stanley cup she decorated. I brought her this from Amazon, and it came with this, and it came with this right here. But she decorated the top. Y'all can see it. She did all that. It's cute. I'm supposed to do yeah. mine. You ain't did mine yet. Cause you didn't tell me to. After we leave here, I'm still gonna get her hair done. You wanna say it? Yeah. Oh, look crazy. Mm -hmm. Tell them hey. Hello. Getting her hair done when we leave here, so drop off to get that done. Oh. Ooh, got that cough. I don't know what that. No, Haven she, gave it to me. It's a cough. She got her and Haven has a little cough, and I, I give her medicine in the morning and at night, but just like that cough, just won't go nowhere. Haven gave it to. So we about to go in here. Oh, I meant to show y'all what um my other phone. I got it on my other phone. Get with that phone. Uh, what it's called? They trying to say she has. Well, want to make sure she don't have it, just so she can play like um extra sports and stuff. Let me find that. I'm gonna try to insert it in here too, so y'all can see. So this is it right here. Y'all can see my phone not too blurry. I'm going to insert it as well, but it's called um, Marfan Syndrome. It says, it's inherited disorder disorder that affects conjective tissue. Morphin Syndrome is inherited disorder that affects tissues. Basically, it's like when they're visual, when they're thin, tall frame, long arms, legs, and fingers. And cause, sometimes it can cause, cause heart problems. So her doctor was like, of course, if she wanted to run track or do anything like that, they got to rule out basically this is what what she has so that's why we're here today getting like the x-rays and stuff and they also said um 
that she don't think she has anything but of course they want to just be prepared they want to make sure basically being that she's so tall and slim and, and um length so that's what we're here for today just making sure she of course doesn't have um anything so let's get ready to go in here because i don't want to be in here all day we're a little early hopefully they can see us a little early since we're here Okay, y'all, we came in Dollar Tra to see what they got. Some cute Halloween direct, um, decorations. Let me show y'all. That's cute, yeah. These for the window, trick or treat. Get some of these on the window. One. The witch. The witch? Oh. <laughs> this right here? What can we hang this up at? That, that's a witch. Huh? On the tree? Okay. You got it. You got to get it. Oh, these will be cute. We do something at the house for the kids. These are cute. Mama, I want to see what it is. You want to see? Yeah. Which one you want? You like this one? You like this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I get one for you. Honesty King Kalia. Honesty Kalia. Ah! Let me try. Why? That is fine. Not a fine king one. I ain't got no top. Like a Halloween party or Halloween basket for the kids. These pins, party favorites. Baby try. No pad. We should do a little Halloween party for the kids. Treat bags. Put drinks in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, kitchen stuff. Do you decorate like your house? Well, you get one. 
So do you like that one? Yeah. Okay. Yay. So we just leave out of Dollar Tree. We about I, to. I always um, got my makeup. They know you got makeup. We about to get something to eat now. I Going to church is what they close. So. I got Go to the Chinese oh, place and see if the Chinese it. place open. Hey, man, what are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, what you got? Let me see. That's cute. I just want a hair dryer, mirror, perfume, bowl stuff, and scissors, and hair dryer, and, uh, and a hair scissors. Okay. Go to the one I go to. Oh, okay. So, I'm about to get this, something to this eat. This is my bowl, and this is her bowl. Um, the shop I went to right there, saw so the pink chamber in that plaza. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Yeah, I remember you had chamber last time. Look at that truck. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mama, you going faster. Mm hmm. Like you they couldn't faster. wait till the storm passed. Stores so packed and people out so lit. Motorcycles. Oh, that's a clothing store. Mm -hmm. These fashion this and more. Clothes. We make customized t shirts. Mama. Huh? Mommy, this, this store is closed. What store? No, them stores open, baby. They couldn't wait. Everybody's just out like it wasn't just storming. That's crazy. Oh, I ain't know if I told y'all, but honestly, results came back good. She doesn't have any, um, the Morphe syndrome or anything, so. Oh, she's good. The results and everything looked great when they did her, um. You know, they did like an ultrasound or the heart or something like that, but everything looked good basically. What that is? Something Pam's front porch. What? <laughs> Pam's front porch. Yeah, that one he pays me back all the time too. Pam's front porch is like a little must be a, um like a bar or something. Hmm. You know, right beside used to be the old mobile in the space. Oh wow. Okay. Size mm. Just open. Mm. Hey y'all, well, get something to eat and head Mama, on back to the house. The you no, know, you're getting something to eat and then about to go home. I want to play my toys. So you can play with your toys, yes. But you can play with your toys. Yeah. You ain't cutting your hair with the fake, the fake scissors, yeah. Baby, All right, y'all. So good. I ain't lying. Naya. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey y'all, I don't know why my camera, hold on, my camera. Okay, so I'm at my homegirl Jazz house. Um, She does my kids' hair as well. Y'all, her house is so, so nice. Like, when I redecorate, I definitely is coming to my girl because she has a great taste in decorating, as I showed y'all in the previous clip. She does my girl's hair. She just did Honesty Hair, and she's doing her nails now. She's the one that did my nails, so she's going to fix these because these look a mess. Yeah, she's gonna fix these. I don't know why my camera sit my camera is not focusing like it should and it's about to make me upset. But I'm here. About to get these nails done. Um, and after we leave here, we're going back to the house. I had to sneak off from Haven because she was wanting to go with me and baby was like, No, just leave her. You know, let you and honestly just go. So I was like, Okay, let me sneak off. So here I am. Um, about to get these nails done. So yeah, that's it for the night. It's Friday night. Um, the rain has stopped. Honestly, has practice in the morning. So after we leave here, I'm going home, and in the morning, I'm gonna take her to practice. And yeah, that's it. So let's go get my nails done. Y'all, oh, hey everyone. <laughs> um, what's a gnat in here? I'm on the way to my last appointment. It's at 3:30. It's 3:01. Um, this morning I had to clean and mop the kitchen. Y'all know how that goes, spring, well, I'm not spring cleaning, but fall cleaning, trying to get rid of some stuff and 
just starting up in the kitchen. Um, my last tag, she's really from, um, she lives in Charlotte, but she comes here to do lashes when she has um, clients. But she was like, she was going to be here all Go day. Go past the slide. Then at um, the next one, use She the was right supposed to do my to lashes last week, West. but she, um, she didn't get a chance to do them last week. So, you come on. So, um, oh, she got the one of those new terrors. I got the old one, baby. You, you pushing a big boy, big body. I can't wait to get like you, Miss Mamas. But um, y'all probably can't even see me. This sun is shining right here where I need y'all to be. Um, so I'm about to go get that done, get my lashes done. I'm going to take the girls somewhere when I get back. Haven sleep, so I'm going to try to figure out somewhere to take them once I get back. And that's going to be it for today. My, my oldest want to go to Crumble Cookies. I've never been to Crumble Cookies. I've seen it, and I've heard people talk about it. I'm not a sweets eater, um, so i never been to Crumble Cookies. I'm going to show you my nails. My girl Jazz did my nails, y'all. I didn't get no color or nothing on them. I was so tired last night. I was like, girl, just put the nails on. You don't got to polish them. You don't got to put no designs. You don't got to put no... Um, charms or nothing just i just go like this so that's what she did at the light use the right lane to turn right so she just did them and put them on and as long as i got nails on i don't be caring about nothing honestly i don't be caring about none of that as long as they, i can feel them on because without them i feel so helpless or something i don't know if it's baby at all be in my mind or what but without nails on it's like i can't function that's sick right that's yeah, but I promise y'all, I know I'm not the only one that feels like that. I know I'm not the only one. Three miles. Take exit 65 onto Bond River Road in US 176. Okay, so I got a little way to ride. I got like eight miles. So that's a pretty much it today. Um, I did some. I did a little bit of. Um, I definitely get some more and put on, put outside. I gotta find Daisy a Halloween costume too. I don't know if people be dressing their dolls up for Halloween. I'm going to definitely dress my baby up for Halloween. I don't know what I'm going to dress her up as yet. But as soon as I find me a good, cute doll costume for my baby, I'm going to definitely put it on her. I'm probably not going to take her nowhere with us, of course, because she acts so crazy when we be out and stuff. She act like she don't be having no home training. Hell, she act like she don't have home training at home. So imagine when we be out. She's just she's so active. So, so active. We're still trying to decide if we want to sell her or not. So, I don't know about that yet. The kids barely play with her. I don't know. I think maybe if she was smaller, they would be more like playful with her. But she's so, she, she, we didn't expect for her to get that big. That's why they really don't care for her. And then she's so active. She's not like one of those chill dogs. She want to run and jump and play all the time. It's not a time where Daisy is not playful. She's always playful always dated because I'm going 50 and we're in the very last lane. We're in the fastest lane. No way you going like this. No way you ain't driving how you supposed to. Somebody up there is holding up traffic. <laughs> Somebody up there is not they must be don't know how to drive and know what. I ain't gonna lie y'all. When I had first started driving, I'm on my used to always drive in the um in this lane, right? And my granddad he ride with me one day like why are you always driving the left lane i was like because i just like the left lane he's like you know the left lane is the fast lane and closer to the right lane whatever is the slowest lane I, I never knew that i think i was like 20. i was driving y'all since i was what 17 i think i never knew that until he told me that <laughs> I, I never used to drive on the interstate either so i never knew when i first started driving on the interstate that's when he told me that so it makes sense because the egg well here the exits are on the right but sometimes like other states like charlotte and stuff like that the exit is on some exits are on the left and other states the exits are on the left too but i never knew that so yeah it told me that one day i just thought i'd share that little humor with you all don't bash me too much in the comment section let me focus on the road because this car behind me must want to get me paid baby because they is on my tail okay
gonna be doing that. Ate them up. Indeed. We at Papa John's getting some pizza and wings for the kids. Y'all see my lashes? Real cute, real demure. Real demure and real cute. So let me put y'all right here for a minute. We at Papa John's waiting on the pizza. Babies wanted to get some pizza. And then we're going back to the house. We we was said I said. And we was them, and we went for us. So she wanted to tell y'all, huh? He was for us, and the dog would bite us. Okay, so her and her daddy went walking, and they saw a big German Shepherd, and he was like the German Shepherd looked like he wanted to attack them. So um, that's what that's that is what Haven is telling y'all. Tell them about the dog Haven. The dog is bigger than me. It was bigger than you. Yeah. You were scared. That dog did. Daddy picked me up, and Daddy got your stick. He, your daddy got a stick? Yeah. Oh, and he wow. picked me up. And he picked you up? Yeah. And he died that coming. Oh, wow. And I was nobody. You nobody was... can't catch me. And, and I was just a stick. You was... Nature. You was real scared of that dog, huh? <laughs> so getting some pizza and about to get ready to go home the shop um i showed y'all that was another boutique that i was in from my last video and her shop is really nice too um it's called the dollhouse 803 that was the first time in that shop actually and it was really really nice she had some really cute items in there so i definitely said i was gonna go back um just to see what all she had they do she does um they have a the lash tag in there, she did my lashes, and um, they have actually um, a girl who does um, wig installs as well, too. She um, she was doing wig installs in there, too, so. Y'all definitely should check check them out if you're in the Columbia metro area. It's called the Dial House 803, located off of Broad River. Uh-oh. <laughs> little boys play fight. Almost knocked the lady out. <laughs> you almost knock her out. They was play fighting. I almost knock her out. My mama came to the water high and again. Sing your song, Haven. Bay, I love you. Bay, I love you. Hey. Sing it. <laughs> You're not gonna sing it. You're, right. <laughs> You're exactly right. That's exactly the song you need to be singing. <laughs> Y'all, she is a character. Well, waiting on the pizza. I should say it was ready, so I don't know what's the hold up. Make sure they got ranch in there. They know Maybe I don't play about my ranch, huh? But they say it was ready. They text me and say your yeah. order is ready for pickup. Yeah, maybe a lot of people try to I just better know that it's better be correct. Y'all, I did not know anchovies was fish. What? Anchovies? Not people be like they want anchovies on their pizza. I did not know that was fish. I never heard. Yeah, it's fish. Dominique had to show me. I always just heard people say that. You got people. They got people standing outside and all waiting on their pizza. <laughs> it's a new nail place right there called KCK Nail. I don't like it. You don't know it. You know. I'm, I'm just you saying. Know. You never. You never say. Can't say something. You don't like something if you never I'm not been. Please, we want jazz. Okay, That's let us get I'm this. About nail places. I would maybe get on Venus nails. Do y'all want this look right here? When I tell y'all, this a begging little girl. Do y'all have teenagers that just want, want, want? Show them your nails. Like Show them your nails. nails. So they're Halloween themed. This is a spider. And then like this is a um, ghost. And then the rest of these French tips. But I got nails to do tomorrow. 
Hi, she got some nails to do tomorrow, y'all. So my baby is doing nails. She's starting off doing some nails. Um, I, I just keep telling her like you got to be consistent. You can't be tired and say you're tired and you don't want to do it. You can't say you want to give up. Like you have to be consistent no matter what. So trying to get her to stick with it and be consistent and just keep going. I don't know why my camera like it don't want to focus. Cause that's the only way you gonna get better if you just keep going. Trying to, you know, I'm glad that she wants to do that and do something, try to make her own money. Cause baby is expensive. You hear me? You told Kai you wanted a Kurt Geiger and some skims for Christmas. How did you know? She told you. Oh, I try own a Kurt Geiger and Skims, and you're 12. I can buy my own. Mom, I'm gonna be 13. Finna be 13, baby. I don't even have a Kurt Geiger. You have one. I don't even have Skims. Like, expensive, y'all. Very expensive. So, y'all, make sure y'all watch. Get my watch hours up so I can get them monetized. Because that baby right there. That baby right there. Okay. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is Sunday. Um, I've been up a little bit. I had to get me some coffee. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably my glasses. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I was walking upstairs. So, whenever I get my lashes done, I normally take my contacts out. Just so the glue won't irritate my eyes with my contacts and I put my glasses on. So, last night, I noticed that my head started hurting just on this side. So, what I did was took my... um. My contacts out and I put my glasses on because I got my lashes on yesterday so I think it's my me transferring from somebody cutting grass um I think it's me transferring from my contacts to my glasses and it has my head hurting so I know they said coffee kind of helps with headaches so I had me one cup of coffee this morning it's my second cup now I'm trying to see if that gonna help with my headache because my head is killing me so i'm gonna end this vlog here um i'm supposed to go to the gym today with my home girl so i don't know if i'm going now because my head hurts but then i know they say working out kind of helps with your body and headaches and stuff so i probably need to go just so it can help out with um my headaches um Y'all, I'm saying um again. I noticed that I say um a lot in my videos. And I know that's probably irritating to some of y'all. I'm going to try to stop saying um and replace that with another word. So give me some replacement words that I can use instead of saying um. Because I noticed that. I was like, why do I say that a lot? Like, I say um a lot. <laughs> I guess it's just like a filler word. I'm not too sure. My baby downstairs, she was supposed to go to my mom's house for a little bit today. My mom called me. They just got lights yesterday, actually. My mom called me this morning, and she was like, I meant to um, tell you last night, I started noticing a smell. And she was like, the smell was coming from her closet. Come to find out, she stays, like, in an apartment, and someone stays above her. So the water must be was dripping down, and it was dripping in her closet. So she has mildew all in her closet. She was like, it's a horrible smell. She's on the way now to go to the store to get some stuff to kind of clear that up. My baby can't go over there, of course. She can't be around no mildew smell. Like, she will definitely get sick. So... That's not the question. Hey, we just have to be home with us today. Like, that's still fine because we're not doing anything. That's still fine. Later on today, I probably will take my girls to Crumble Cookies. My oldest wanted to go to Crumble Cookies so bad. I've never been. I heard it was really expensive. I'm not too sure. I've never been. I'm not a sweets eater. We're going to see about that later on today. I may not open up another vlog until Vlogtober. This may be the last vlog until October the 1st. That way, I can give y'all a video every single day in october starting october the first i'll see though not too sure yet when this vlog go out it's gonna go out today it'll still be sunday october the first is i don't have my phone up here i think october the first is tuesday then so much so much then i heard we have another hurricane coming between october the third and the 12th we're supposed to have a state fair coming here i think the end of the month I think the fair is supposed to be here now. They postponed it. So, no state fair because of the um, weather. I was listening to some girls yesterday. I don't know if I told y'all, but she was from Greenville. She said they still do not have power in Greenville. Some of the places. Augusta still don't have power. Augusta, Georgia. Let's just pray. For those people who do not have power, who do not have lights, we're blessed. The ones who still have lights and power and food, be thankful. Because it could have been a lot worse. 
sometimes people like i be saying on facebook sometimes and people would take that for granted why the kids don't gotta go to school why we don't gotta go to work why they y'all do not know how storms will turn out the last storm we had it wasn't that bad this storm it was bad and people were taking more precaution i feel like last time versus this time but you can never be too careful you can never be too prepared you can never have enough you just never know what a storm is going to do y'all saw when i was up four o'clock in the morning y'all probably heard that wind and stuff outside you don't know what damage a storm can do so for me to see people saying oh why the kids don't have to go to school why we got why we don't have to go to work why why this place closed why that place closed why they postponing this like that's ignorance to me because it's actually people in the world that got hit really really hard just because you didn't get hit hard doesn't mean other people didn't get hit hard that's very very ignorant and that's very very inconsiderate so let's just take a, take some time to pray for those people who don't have lights right now who doesn't have power who don't have food who don't have family that can't go go to work like i think about the older people y'all know my grandparents raised me so i have a big big heart for older people what about those people who has to have oxygen oxygen or who has to be on ventilators who has to have some type of electricity to plug in things like that probably don't have family the home some of these homeless people on the street what are they going to do so for me to hear people saying stuff like that, like that's just ignorance to me. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. And hate is a strong word. I do know. But be considerate and mindful and be thankful because it could have been a lot worse. It could be you. It could be them today and it could be you tomorrow. So don't ever take that for granted. Don't ever look at it as why, why they did more damage. Like people are so freaking ignorant. Like I hate that. I hate how people think sometimes. I hate how people just are so inconsiderate but let's just take a moment of silence to pray for those people and wish them well so i'm going to end the vlog here thank y'all so so much for supporting me y'all got me at what 430 subscribers make some noise <laughs> y'all got me at 430 subscribers i noticed that me going on youtube live helps my subscriber count and my watch hours so i'm definitely going to be going on youtube live more I'm going to insert that clip here that shows y'all um, that, yeah, I got over 400 subscribers. I'm going to insert it right now. And do. I got over 400 subscribers. So, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so, 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 so much for supporting me. Y'all could be watching anybody else. But y'all take the time out of y'all day to watch a little old me. And for that, I am very, very appreciative and I'm very, 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 very thankful for all of you guys. So stay tuned for vlog, um, Vlogtober. Sorry if y'all hit my baby. She downstairs yelling at her daddy about something. That three-year-old baby, when I tell you no more for me, I am done too and I'm done. You hear me? I am done. So thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for Vlogtober and I'll be back with vlogging every day in October so y'all stick with me encourage your girl give me some tips that I can do for vlogtober as well too because I really don't know this is my first year doing vlogtober so I definitely need all of the help that I can get definitely drop me some feedback in the comments of what y'all would like for me to y'all would like for me to do and for what y'all would like to see me do so that's gonna help as well and I'll talk to y'all later bye girl and guys <laughs> Hush you in me with this